Hello, my name is Matteo, also known as a pasta man. In today's episode, I will be showing you how to make 32 pasta shapes at home. Are you ready? First, roll your pasta dough. Cut the pasta dough into lengths of 15 to 20 centimeters. That's gonna be 6 to 8 inches. Dust each sheet with semolina and stack them on top of one another. Gently fold the whole stack. Now you can shape pappardelle, tagliatelle, fettuccine or hand-cut taglierini. When you finish shaping your pasta, you can remove excess semolina. Now you can fold the pasta to neat little stacks or a nests. Number five, spaghetti alla chitarra. One of my favorite pasta shapes to make at home. If you decided to buy a chitarra box, I will highly recommend finding one made with hard wood. It's more steady and much better quality. Number six, a rigatoni. To make this pasta shape, you will need wooden board with ridges. You can use gnocchi board. I will be using my cavarola board. When you're shaping rigatoni, it's useful to roll the pasta dough to setting 5. It will retain better shape after cooking. When you finish shaping pasta, stack them as you see above. Casarece. This pasta shape reminds me of a little scrolls. Originated in Sicily, it pairs beautifully with ragot, creamy sauces and many many more. It's definitely labor of love. Campanelle, Torchio or Gigli. This beautiful pasta shape originated in Tuscany. I love this pasta with creamy mushroom sauce. Number 9. Maltagliati, meaning poorly cut. Any pasta of cuts you can use in soups, stews or even pasta sauces. Fusi Istrani, non-Italian pasta shape but really beautiful. Traditional pasta of Istria region in Croatia and Slovenia. Farfalle. This pasta shape originated in northern Italy, part of Emilia Romagna and Lombardia. Sorpresina, meaning little surprises. I don't know what kind of surprises they have in mind, as this pasta don't contain any filling. I love serving this pasta in soups, light sauces or brodo.
Garganelli. This pasta shapes come from Emilia Romagna, northern Italy. Fungetti. This pasta shapes pairs beautifully with pesta and any other creamy sauces like vodka sauce. Filled egg pastas. Roll pasta dough to setting 6 or 7 on your pasta machine. Let's start with absolute classic. Ravioli. Make sure you remove any air bubbles when you finish shaping this pasta. Then transfer to a tray dusted with semolina or rice flour. Agnolotti del Plin, meaning with pinch. This pasta shape originated in Piedmont. Any of cuts you can re-roll or use as a maltagliati. Doppio ravioli. Really fun pasta shapes to play with flavors. You can make ragu and potato or a fish with beetroot. The end of the day, sky is the limit. Your choice. Spoia Lorda or Sfolia Lorda. Pasta shape originated from Emilia Romagna, traditionally served in brodo. I love having my one with slow cooked tomato sauce. Pardelle ripiene. Beautiful pasta to surprise your guests. Usually serve as a starter, ideally cooked in a shallow pan with boiling salted water. Casoncelli.
Scarpinock, pasta shape from Lombardy, originates from the word scarpa, in English shoe. Tortelloni Mezzaluna, a half moon shaped pasta. Capelletti. Caramelle, pasta shape resembling caramel candy. Color Jones, pasta shape made with semolina and water, originated from Sardinia, originally filled with potato, mint, garlic and cheese, served in rich tomato sauce. Orichiette, pasta shape originated from Polia, made with semolina and water. Trofie. I love making this pasta, originated from Liguria, beautifully pairs with sun-dried tomato pesto. Annellini
Lorigitas, pasta shape from Sardinia, often served with seafood. Busiate. My favorite and most traditional is serving them with trapanese pesto. Maloredus, also known as gnocchi sarti. I need to admit, I love having this pasta with lamb ragu or lamb and saffron ragu. Spitzulus. Thanks for watching, I hope you'll find this video very useful. Meanwhile, if you have any question, comment below, I will try to come back to you as soon as possible. Happy pasta making!